Hello, um, we're back again with another video uh, vlog. I've got to call them vlogs. This is an intermediary vlog. So I decided, uh, starting in January 2017, to go out and make, uh, take photographs once a month. Hopefully with some tips in between. But the monthly ones, I would uh, video like this uh, in order to make vlogs and put them up on YouTube. All on the back of an idea given by Thomas Heaton, who is one of my favourites. If you're into photography and like watching videos about it, go and search for Thomas Heaton, particularly for landscape on YouTube. is excellent link uh, so he said why not not to get famous not to make money not to get loads and loads of followers not bothered about any of that but it gets you off your arse out taking photographs using the gear that I love that I've spent far too much money on um, rather than just sitting on my arse at the settee watching other people get out and take videos so that's the purpose of the vlogs but i thought it would be a good idea for me to lay some ground rules what you can expect because you're not going to get the production values from me that you get from the likes of mike brown thomas eaton gavin hoey it's not going to happen What you will get are true to life videos, the challenges that I've met, the climatic conditions that I went out in, uh, and I'll tell you things I've learnt. And I'll also share with you the photographs that I take um, and my experiences. But you're not gonna get things like lots and lots of walking past the camera shop. You know the one where the camera's been put down somewhere and they pretend to walk past and then they have to come all the way back stop the filming collect the camera and carry on with the walk which means that you're going to walk over the same stretch of ground three times i'm not a big walking person as you can probably tell by my physique um, i'm a middle-aged fat f bloke um, so I prefer to walk over the ground once. You might get odd one or two shots, but not as many as you're getting all the other people's shots. It's getting to be expensive as well. I bought another camera so that I can have it on a selfie stick and film myself as I'm walking along. I bought this. A skinny muff. It's not what you think it is. I'll show you what it is. It's designed to stick on your camera body over the built-in microphone and stop wind noise you know the that's what it is i'm not going to say it's quite effective it doesn't eliminate it altogether but it's look it's just a bit of fluff with some velcro stuff on the bottom 12 quid i'm gonna have a go at making my own as well i've seen a video i wish i'd have seen that video first of how to make your own muff uh, but I'm going to have a go at that and I'll do tests on them and publish them as videos like other idiots do and tell you what I find um, so yeah I haven't got the equipment I haven't got the time I've got a full time job uh, which I love doing this is an evening and a weekend thing for me but hopefully it's going to I've been inspired by Thomas to get out off my ass taking photos using the gear because Great Britain has some wonderful spectacular charming beautiful countryside and I love being out in it and don't do it as often as I should have so once a month I'm going to go out with the camera and take some photographs and film myself doing it and share it with you guys I hope you like them but that's not the real purpose 
Uh, it's not to get loads of money. It's not to get loads of followers. The purpose is to get me out of my ass. So, in February, I've already got my location planned. Uh, and I've already got a date planned in. I'm off somewhere else to take some more photos in a different style and to use some slightly different kit than I used on the last one. Because on the last one, it, there was no need for any filters or any special approach to it. It was just camera and a lens on the tripod and wait for the light, which never appeared. Next time, I may be using some filters, so I'll share with you my experiences uh, of that. Until then, take care and we'll see you later.